Um, everybody uh, out there, I would encourage them to go to wearechange.org. Uh, click on the Oshkosh play. Get a hold of us if you want to check us out. Good, good. Good to hear from you. Appreciate it, Mark. Bob in Indiana. Bob, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. Thanks for taking my call. You bet. Well, I'm sorry this is a little off topic. I was just saying if uh, you had heard the latest on Daniel Estelin. He came on your show about four or five months ago and said he was going to come out with a full report a couple weeks after he was on your show about the Builder. No, he really, did, he, he really didn't. I don't have anything on him. What else is on your mind? Well, you, you know, I just want to let you know you're doing a great job. He's just someone that I really respect. And if I remember right, he uh, – in May, he called the Dow exactly what's going on right now. Um, he said that the Bilderberg Group and others were going to push it up to 9,500 or 10,000, and then they're going to plummet it at the end of September or October. And that's and the exactly big money that. and the big money is now pulling out of the stock market. Right, right. So, um, is there anything new on him? I wasn't sure if he came. No, we went to Bilderberg. Him. We went to Bilderberg, and and, and we had reporters uh, in Greece. With those reports, but I appreciate your call, Jim Tucker and others on air with us. Um, let's go ahead and talk to Bob in Indiana. Bob, you're on the air. We just talked to Bob. Tommy in Virginia. Tommy, you're on the air. Yes. Hey, Alex. Yes, sir. Alex. Okay, hey. great. Go ahead. Uh, yes, back to this, back to this media thing. Uh, I'm disgusted with them. I'm calling for a, a complete boycott of my, mainstream media. There, we don't have to watch the news. We can get our news from online. We can get sports, weather, all that. Uh, you know, just well, let's stop watching them. Make the ratings go down. Uh, I was really impressed by the Patriots, uh, that little clip with CNN where the reporter was trying to uh, do a live thing, and they were yelling, tell the truth, tell the truth. That was awesome. Stay uh, there. Stay there. Whole... You're actually calling in on topic. Uh, stay there. We're going to come back to you to get your take on what happened. And we're going to play that clip of the CNN reporter being shouted down straight ahead after this quick break. I'm Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. This is Alex Jones. Have you heard of the millionaire patriot? Well, you should. He has a free handgun and five days of firearms training waiting for you. That's right. You can attend five days of world-class gun training at Front Sight Firearms Training Institute and secure a 30-state concealed weapons permit, all for pennies on the dollar. Plus, if you act fast, the Millionaire Patriot will give you a free Springfield Armory XD pistol in the caliber of your choice. I believe now is the time that you and your family need to be armed and trained to levels that exceed law enforcement and military standards. Front Sight provides such training without any boot camp mentality or drill instructor attitudes. This is real. Don't miss out. Secure a front sight defensive handgun course plus a 30 state concealed weapons permit for pennies on the dollar and get your free handgun. Go to frontsight.com today. That's F R O N T S I G H T.com. Go to frontsight.com for your training and free gun. Paul Watson text messaged me this morning, fellow we got run in prisonplanet.com, and he said, search these terms in Google Trends. It's the highest it's ever been. It was some 9-11 term, a Sheen term, and my name was something. I can't remember those terms, but he's doing a blurb tomorrow. But just look at the name Alex Jones. Put that up on screen. Look at that trend there. News reference volume. For the name Alex Jones, the highest it's ever been since 2004 in the last five years. Double anything it's ever been. Look at that trend right there. And then also extremely high just on the web itself. We've been trending the last year higher than ever. Uh, but Watson had a bunch of 9-11 terms. He was text messaging me, and I went and looked and saw it, but I can't remember the terms. It's pretty late in England right now, but I may get those terms from him to show people. But you know, there's my name in association with 9-11. And there's no doubt it's that 9-11 truth. My name, the highest it's ever been, and, and, and it's been listed by Lycos and Google as in the top ten searches before. My name. You know, not Paris Hilton, not O.J. Simpson, not Michael Jackson, but, I mean, I've been in the top ten. Just another example of how much we're reaching people just with this show. My show is a small part of the total resistance to tyranny. We were talking to Tommy in Virginia, and Tommy was bringing up the uh, fact that um, that's some good music, guys. But can you kill it? Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate it. Um, up to uh, two million march to U.S. Capitol to protest against Obama's spending and Tea Party 
demonstration. That's the mail online. All the foreign press shows the video, the photos, upwards of two million or more. And then the New York Times shows a couple thousand. Go ahead. It's horrible. Uh, like I said, we we just need to stop watching the regular news and and you know and that be done with it. I can't even watch Fox News anymore. It's 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 disgusting. I wish you would play that clip and let them let them hear the uh, the patriots, uh, you know, saying tell the truth. And uh, you know, there, I have a whole slew of subjects. Uh, I'd love to talk with you sometime, Alex, on uh, police corruption, pandemic planning, uh, the the swine flu. Uh, I've been researching the in the new world order for over 15 years and you know it's time to stand up and speak up people yeah. need to stop being worried about entertain being entertained 24 7 and do some research on their own and figure this out and help us you know well, the flu is just one more cover for total federalization i appreciate your call it's more government-sponsored terror as they hype it up and use it as a way to get the people to go along with total control and the private interests that control the government make billions and billions of dollars off of it Let's take another call. Thank you, Tommy. Andrew in New York, you're on the air. Go ahead. Mr. Jones. Good afternoon. Uh, Welcome. Good. Thank you. Uh, in our local newspaper, yes, they showed the closest. This person must have climbed as close as they could to the very front to deliberately obscure the fact that there were literally, you know, an absurd number of people. Yeah, no, no. Almost Let's all U.S. newspapers, I searched for hours today, hours. Uh, getting ready for this show. I mean, I'm addicted to news. And not CNN, not uh, hardly even Fox. Could you find video from on top of the buildings, just every major road, street filled, the mall filled, from the mall all the way to the Capitol, jammed with upwards of 2 million people. And Homeland Security estimated, that's the source for the Daily Mail, the British paper, Homeland Security said two million. The government says two million, and the New York Times says a few thousand. I mean, this this photographer must have clawed the eyes out of old ladies and old men with canes just to get as close as they possibly could to the front because it was just literally. So yeah, they fast. went down to the stage. They went down to the stage and showed the front of the crowd, and then said, "Look, a couple thousand people." I've had local Austin media at pro-gun events, pro-Second Amendment events we've had, and, and pro-sovereignty, pro-border events, anti-open border events. And we might have 2,000 people there, and the news will go get a camera, take a shot of the end of a line of people out on the edge, and say, a few dozen people were at the Austin Capitol today, the Texas Capitol. Or better yet, they take the picture after everybody's left and they're packing everything up, making it look like, oh, nobody showed up. When the History Channel came to show me for a 9-11 hit piece, 9-11 Truth hit piece a few years ago, I was about 600 people at an event I was speaking to at UT. I was at another one in the main ballroom, you know, 1,200 people, standing room only. They turned back over 1,000. That's what UT said. But History Channel came and showed during a recess five people in the bleachers and said that was who was there to see me. Total deception. Well, just on a good note, though, in the same newspaper today, in the same section, those posters of Mr. Obama with the Joker face over it made it to our local newspaper. It seems somebody put up, and uh, it seems you've been lighting a lot of little fires, as it were, under a lot of people's backsides. Well, they decided to put up their own posters of calling the local mayor, mayor like a, a Mr. Doolittle. Now, get this. The city spends over $2,000 overnight to remove all these posters, but, and the newspaper reporter made certain they mentioned this, they left all the InfoWars posters alone. And Why? This is a dem democratically controlled city. Why? Probably because a lot of them are probably figuring it out for themselves, and they're worried about their pension, too, and they see it all going down to you-know-what. Well, well, the reason I had the contest to worldwide put up Obama, Joker, InfoWars.com posters and yes, that was us, folks, was because I wanted to show people their power. Now, our new contest that I will announce the winners Tuesday a little bit late because I want to be able to properly watch the hundreds of videos we were sent, was any poster, any political idea you have, just whoever makes the best poster and post you know, them publicly and shoots a video of it. To show people the power of just going out and putting up posters. But you're saying in your town... Multiple posters got put up, but they left the InfoWars posters up. Uh, what newspaper is that? I'd like to see it. That's the Syracuse Post Standard. S-T-A-N-D-A. -A what was the headline in the Syracuse Post Standard? I want to see that. I, 
I apologize, sir. I do not have it in front of me. I had to read it over at my aunt's house. Well, that's okay. Uh, we'll just, uh, Syracuse Post Standard, we'll go look at their online version for Joker Poster. Or, they or, deliberately left yours up. They and the paper it. admitted they left the posters with, with, with InfoWars up. And, and they didn't even mention how it's a democratically controlled city, too. In fact, part of the downtown committee, which is all a bunch of democratically, you know, individuals, they left the posters alone, same with the DPW workers. They but they took the, the to... ones down that bashed the mayor. <laughs> or spray-painted over the ones they couldn't remove. Crazy. Thank you so much. Bizarre. Uh, yeah, folks, German TV, Japanese TV, British TV, U.S. TV, national TV, every town and city we've looked at. Thousands of news articles, I can't even track them all, where you went and put the poster up. The locals whine about it, then the news puts it on and gives us a thousand times the attention. <laughs>